Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this Saturday daily video of Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month. Happy day 20. I cannot believe we're back to day 20. It's almost the end of Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month. In 11, 12 days. Um, so, it's almost the end of my videoing, and then I'll go back to, um, weekly Thursday vlogs, um, but this week I want to do another week in life of a person living with, with CP, um, so... On Monday, we had, or I had, I had a, a rest day. I did daily living tasks. I woke up around like 9, 9.30, did daily living tasks, watch uh, Price is Right on TV in the morning. Usually, I don't watch TV in the morning, but... This time I wanted to change it up a little bit and do something different in the morning before I started my day. Um, and then I just did emails, make sure everybody's up to date for my advocacy. And um, make sure I didn't have any collaboration emails or any other projects I had to do. And then just ate lunch. Um, and then did some more emailing and projects, and then I ate dinner, watched some more TV, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, um, I had to wake up early on Tuesday, my mom had an appointment so before she left the house she had to get me ready for the day because I was just doing meetings and advocacy work and I was just doing meetings and advocacy work on Tuesday and emailing and then I went to get my first COVID-19 shot um, I got the Pfizer, I'm feeling well, I didn't have no side effects on Wednesday, Wednesday was another rest day for me, um, to check if I had side effects to, for the COVID-19 check, uh, for the COVID-19 shot, but I just got the first one, and honestly, it didn't even hurt. I had a little bit of sore arm and a little bit of tiredness, but that's that was to be expected. To be expected. Um, but yeah, it was. Um, it is a good thing, a step in the right direction for me. Especially because I want to get back to my new normal. I want to do stuff outside of the house and in a safe zone. But I want to do stuff outside of the house and like get back to my new normal. Um, and how I was before, slowly and safely. Um, but yeah, so it was another rest day. Another re recuperation day. Um, and on Tuesday, I had a car ride. Um, just to see my old house and old neighborhood. And because we were just there. So. Um, third. Uh. Wednesday was just a recuperation day, more emails, no daily living tasks, just a chill day. Um, 
ate some Dairy Queen. Um, just the chicken strip, chicken strip basket, and the peanut butter parfait. Um, the ice cream. So, and then Thursday, I had more meetings and then more emails to do um, for life coaching and for school and for different projects I want to do. Mind you, I'm not in school anymore. I'm not taking classes. I'm just taking a break right now and um, we'll see. If I want to go for my bachelor's degree or not. Um, so, yeah. And then I went for my second uh, appointment of the week. Um, back left and pump refill. It's for spasticity. It helps control my spasticity and tightness. And it's an automatic... Um, medicine like pump it's on a continuous dose um to give medicine to my muscles so every three to four uh th- three to four five months i gotta refill it and make sure nothing is stalling or nothing is like having a bad reaction to or nothing I w- nothing is going to have any withdrawals so that's what I did yesterday and then I came home I was really tired um and then today I woke up early in the morning because my mom had another appointment and I don't have a take care take um, care yet, um, or PCA personal care attendant because of COVID, we opted out to say no personal care attendants, nobody's coming in, the, in my house because of COVID until they get the vaccine and fully are just gonna come to work and go nowhere else. Um, so... My my mom has a lot of appointments now because of her kidney issues, so I have to be sacrificing my sleep if she has a morning appointment because then I have to pee and I'm kind of on a schedule for the bathroom routine and for, like, eating and for... Because if I don't eat on time, I feel nauseous and I get to the point where I have GERD, which is, like, acid reflux, and, like, um, a lot of bowel movements, problems, and a lot of, like, I, um, closer to IBS, but I don't have IBS, but it feels like that, so, um, we try not to get to the point where I get nauseous, so, yeah, it was an early morning, um, she got, she, she got her first shot, um, of COVID-19, so I'm glad we were only three days apart, me and my mom. Um, from getting our first shots, and we did that, um, and then I've been just relaxing the rest of the day. I sound a little more tired because I was woken up around like 7.30, um, and then I don't like to sleep because it ruins my nights then, and... I get kind of tight and weird, and you guys see me in the bed <laughs> um, a couple weeks ago, 
um, when I had Botox and yeah. And my bed is not comfortable. I need a new mattress. But after I get fully vaccinated, I'm gonna go find a new mattress. So, and then on the weekend, I gotta prepare for my biggest week. Um, I gotta deinstall some malware in my laptop for some IT assessment, AT assessment, um, assistive or uh, assistive or adapted technology assessment um for work i'm transitioning into from college to work so that's why i have a big week ahead i have a lot of point a lot of appointments and i will be f- um pre-filming this weekend a lot of videos because my next week is the more busier week and it's almost 10 days um or 11 days and then and then the cerebral palsy awareness month will be ending and then i'll go back to my weekly blogs um but yeah um on the weekend i'm gonna just get ready for our um, Monday, because I have a big day Monday, um, and then I have a couple meetings, couple projects that I have to do, um, couple job applications that I have to look at and what they need for me in regards to my disability, um, with my scribe. And then on Monday, I start the bigger bigger journey. Um, I go to this rehabilitation center um, to try to use a computer and see what adaptations that I need in the real, real world of technology work. Um, so, yeah, that's my week. I know it wasn't that interesting um i try to make it interesting with my car rides and film a little bit of that more this time than i film more of myself and i filmed a snack time video and i'm hoping to get to a standing video this next week but i'll We'll have to see what I can do in the last 10 days, 11 days of Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month. So, happy Saturday, guys. Um, Please like, please subscribe. I cannot believe it's day 20. This video is going to go up for Saturday. It is almost Friday at almost... 4 p.m. in the afternoon in the evening time but this video won't go up till Saturday but that's okay um but yeah thanks guys I hope you enjoy it and please please like and subscribe I'm not getting too many likes too too many engagement this time around since i've been doing every single day so please please try to find something good out of these videos and please please um i will probably film of me in a more physical and active style standing soon in the next 10, 11 days. Um, but yeah. Thank you and have a great day. And always be positive. Always have a smile on your face. And please like, please subscribe. Um, be positive in the comments area. And as always, I will catch you later. Bye.